I've given part of my house to the squirrels. And I'd tell people it's their house. I'm just lucky they let me stay with them. I am Cindy, and this is Sammy and Barkley story for GeoBeats. One evening, my boyfriend and I were driving home, and we see something in the road. It was a baby squirrel, and she was wet. It was pretty late in the day, and it was chilly outside. So, took Sammy home and had to get on Google and figure out what you even do with the baby squirrel and got some information and then had to go back out to the store to get PDLI in the heating pad. Her eyes were still closed. So, we bottle fed her and took her a couple days and she opened her eyes and I was the first person she saw. It was literally love at first sight with her. She does have issues with her fur and stuff, and I don't know if maybe her mom sensed she was going to have some issues throughout her life and abandon her. I really don't know, but she's pretty healthy and happy now, three years old. Barkley, he's a lot different. A girl on Instagram actually sent me a message about him. She had found this young male squirrel and needed to find somebody that could take him. I said, yeah, sure, I can take him. Took them a couple months before they actually even became friends. And now you can't separate them. I've had to change my entire lifestyle. I mean, no vacations, you don't go on overnight trips. They've got an entire living room that's been turned into their playroom, and I mean, it's completely safe. (gasps) They can be out cage-free whether I'm here or not. They have an incredible bond. They actually started sleeping together in the same nest. And now Barkley loves her, absolutely loves her. He could care less about me in all honesty. He's not bonded to me so much. And I don't know if maybe it's because I didn't raise him from a baby, but Sammy, you couldn't separate these two. He would not be okay without her. Like, he depends on her, I think. Like, he's always with her. When he gets up, the first thing he does is look for her, and he wants to go lay with her or sit with her. He gets very upset if she's getting attention from me, which I'll gladly give him the exact same attention. But they don't reason like that, I guess. I sometimes think that's why she stays up late, because some nights it seems like she waits for him to go to bed so she can actually get the attention. I really think that animals feel every emotion that humans do. I mean, happiness, anger, jealousy. I mean, they feel everything just like we do. There's literally times I will start crying just looking at them. How did I get this lucky to find this kind of love? I don't know what it is with them. Nothing has impacted me the way they have. They're definitely one of the most positive things in my life. I talk about the squirrels constantly. Everyone's like, I guess you just want to go home and see your squirrels. I'm like, yeah, actually I do. Just want to get home to my squirrels. It's an honor to get to be their mom.